like button and subscribe to the channel. It's a paper chase with Yo Gotti and Gucci. Now we all know in the early 2000s, Yo Gotti and Gucci ran the streets in the south. These two guys didn't create trap music, but they solidified it, reinvented it, and mastered the craft of trap music. And we all know Yo Gotti had an early start on Gucci. He was a CEO at an early age. Yo Gotti already had his I and E in Equitable Records and the Blockburners group early 2000s, way before 2010 when Gucci came out with So Icy Entertainment. And if you know much about Yo Gotti's bio, you know he grew up with money. He already had one foot in the game. As early as the age of 12, from managing four Memphis rappers to now being the CEO head of CMG. And now Yo Gotti has rappers from all over the US. Besides Master P and Birdman, Yo Gotti has done something not many CEOs have done. He has damn near 10 artists and all of them are hot. Let's take a look at some of Gotti's artists with CMG. Big Boogie, Black Yosta, Moneybag Gyo, Glorilla, ESTG, Lil Papa, Mozzie. So that list alone should make it a little easier explaining why Yo Gotti's the $100 million man. As far as Forbes is concerned, and some say Yo Gotti could be the next Jay Z. And what about Gucci Mane? We did discuss his old So Icy E N T label back in 2010. Later on, he created the 1017. Gucci's whole 1017 Brick Squad split up, and Gucci got locked up. Now he's returned with the new 1017 that consists of Hot Boy West. Big Walk Dog, Big Scar, Rest in Peace Scar, Pooh Shiesty, Fujiano, and Big Fizzle. And what about Pooh Shiesty's cousin, Set? Gucci Mane bonded Set out of jail and immediately signed him a 1017. And then we have Yo Millionaire, the 7th Street Don. His protege, Matt Critter, signed with 1017. And the white rapper, Bresden shows the growth in Gucci Mane and he's willing to be versatile. His first white rap on the label. And what about Big Scar's girl, Enchanting? Enchanting was dropped by Gucci's label near the time of Big Scar's death. Sad. Then there's Memphis rapper Kato Two Times who got arrested right after getting signed to 1017. Authorities arrested Kato two times after CEO Jizzle was hit up at a recent Lil Baby concert in Memphis. So all of Gucci's artists either get locked up or unfortunately pass away. Gucci Mane is still performing around the world as a rap artist solo and cashing in those checks, making ends meet. And that's why Gucci Mane's estimated net worth is around $40 million, contrary to your beliefs. Gucci Mane's wife, Keisha Kayor, has a cosmetic line and is doing great. It's estimated that his wife alone has around a $50 million net worth. She saves the day. Their two incomes together make close to $100 million. Gucci Mane definitely picked the right lady. Keisha Kayor has been holding Gucci down since he was locked up. Fans recently thought there was trouble with the couple after Rick Ross's baby's mother exposed Gucci Mane's wife allegedly for being with Rick Ross during the time she was with Gucci. Check this out. We all know that Rick Ross's baby mama Tia Kim has been going hard on Keisha KR and Gucci. 
She claims her baby's father, Rick Ross, had a relationship with Gucci's to-be wife while Gucci was locked up. Tia has been going hard on Rick Ross and exposing Rick Ross's alleged past as she ain't holding back for nobody. If you thought Tasha K was something, Tia Kemp takes it to a whole nother level. Hopefully, Gucci Mane and his wife can continue their happy marriage after hearing these rumors. Some fans believe Gucci Mane might just get that paperwork. Uh, Gucci Mane, he fucked Keisha K or two while you was in prison. I seen her pulling out from his studio house in that Rose Royce she was driving that was a white. And this the truth though, allegedly, and it's the truth. A Gucci man, he fucked Keisha K. Keisha K. Or responded saying, I ain't never had no dealings with Rick Ross, period. Keep my mom name out y'all mix up. Ross and my husband are friends. What the, how dare y'all? Y'all just pressed and mad. Ooh, chat they done told they just. Keisha could shut down his rumors made by Tia Kim. She was involved with Rick. I ain't never had no dealings with Rick Ross. Period. With Ross. Keep my motherfucking name out y'all mix up. Ross and my husband are friends. What the fuck? I dare y'all bitches pressed and mad. Medication needed. Oh, girl. Why is you laughing? Medication. Your man better go pay for a lie detector this. Girl, you the one was spreading it open, not me. Stop it, Booski. I don't care. It was years ago, girl. You know it was. Wasn't she driving a white, white, white Rolls Royce? Well, he said y'all went on a business lunch meeting. All I know it was you and him and the guy you was driving it. You pulled up there. I came home from wherever. I don't know. I used to be this house every day. My churn too. Girl, stop. Bye. Next. <laughs> and what about Yo Gotti? Keisha K.R. was also dating Gotti while Gucci was locked up. Here's what DJ Academics had to say. All these is up in here, y'all can't get over a girl's past. Gucci had to. Would y'all get over your girl's past? That she uh, nigga? Uh, uh. If, if, yo, would y'all wife, would y'all wife, let's let's put it to a random girl. Or like Shaquisha. You you wife in Shaquisha, if you get locked up and she fucks your man who like who who live across town that's y'all kinda okay, but y'all like I ain't say y'all ops, but like like she know like y'all kinda homies a little bit. Gucci's wife is a queen, I agree. But all these is up in here, y'all can't get over a girl's past. Gucci had to. Would y'all get over your girl's past? That she f uh, nigga? Uh, uh. I mean, yeah, we, we, yeah, we need more details. Letting, I feel like just, I'm a that. young nigga, bro. I yeah, but it depends on the this agreement you have during the relationship. If I say I'm gonna give you two hundred thousand dollars, hold on, no. Gucci at that time, this. Gucci at that time was f mad bitches. But the girl he was gonna sell down with that he always had an uh, extra shit for was Keisha Kaor. Well, I, I think I'm saying her last name right. However, Dior, she Dior? or Dior, uh, 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 whatever. Anyway, he wasn't with her his whole time. He was also kind of running around a little bit. When she, you know, what I mean, decided to do her a little bit. Allegedly, she might have been with with, with, with Yo Gotti. Would y'all like yeah. most of y'all? Y'all, y'all demonize any girl that was ever with another rapper that y'all could recognize. Gucci married his girl. He realized she was a good girl who held it down and who also helped him out with a lot of shit. I don't know if y'all would do that. Y'all are talking Bro, about but good none of us, about none of us are rich and have to deal with. You know, the next bitch is probably gonna do that shit or do even worse. So like for him it's probably like all right she's as down as it's gonna get I'm gonna stay with her but you know we could talk but it, we're not in that situation where like no, you know feel, yeah, we're yeah, we're running through mad bitches stuff. and like we know they're just fucking us because we have money and 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 one thing is if she cheated on him when he was in jail okay, okay one thing is fucking well, 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 it wasn't really cheating I don't think they were together but like you exactly. know again okay. yo yo say, yo, if, if, yo would y'all wife would y'all wife let's let's put it to a random girl or like Shaquisha. You, you wife in Shaquisha, if you get locked up and she fucks your man who like, who, who live across town that y'all kind of okay, but y'all like, I say y'all ops, but like, like she know, like y'all kind of homies a little bit. Y'all homies nah, ain't complete. Nah, she's she, gonna have to she, go she, be, gotta be, get out of here. Be with that nigga. She, she Bro, but. Her I, 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 Damn. 
Um, so comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Me, I'd have to roll with Keisha K.O. She never did date Ross or Yo Gotti. Keisha Dior did. So maybe that's why she had her name changed. It looks like Keisha may have had an escape plan from the beginning. A name change. Will these alleged rumors disrupt the relationship between Rick Ross, Keisha, and Gucci? Only time will tell. Show some love down in my comment area. And oh, like, share, and subscribe to the best damn channel on YouTube. Trap Tune TV. It's a new day, a new age, and a new world order. This is the hottest content on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Trap 2.